All electrical appliances have a power rating. For example, this hairdryer has a power rating of 2000 watts. This fan has a much lower power rating of only 55 watts. And this microwave has a power rating of 800 watts. So three different household appliances, all with a different power rating. But what does this mean? Power is the energy transferred by the appliance in a certain amount of time. And this can be represented by the equation power equals energy over time, whereby power is measured in watts, energy in joules and time in seconds. You can actually work out how much energy has been transferred by a particular appliance by rearranging this equation. Energy equals power times time. So the higher the power rating of the appliance, the more energy it has transferred in a particular amount of time. If all of these appliances were on for 60 seconds, how much energy would they use? Well, we can use the energy equals power times time equation to work this out. So for the hairdryer, for example, the power rating for the hairdryer was 2000 watts. So to calculate the energy transferred by the hairdryer in 60 seconds, we would do 2000 watts multiplied by 60 seconds. And that would give us an answer of 120,000 joules of energy. The fan has a much lower power rating of 55 watts. And here the energy transferred would be 55 multiplied by 60 seconds, which would be 330 joules. And finally, for the microwave at 800 watts, to calculate the energy transferred by the microwave in 60 seconds, we would do 800 multiplied by 60 to get 48,000 joules. All energy comes at a cost, so we have to pay for all of the energy we use within our household due to all of the appliances that we have switched on and how long they're on for. Energy companies measure how much energy you use in a unit called kilowatt hours. They will charge you per kilowatt hour of energy used. Our equation that we looked at to calculate energy said that energy is equal to power times time. But because in your household you use lots of power over a long amount of time, the energy companies find it easier to use the following equation. Energy in kilowatt hours is equal to power in kilowatts and one kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts multiplied by time in hours. So they use this equation because you're using lots of power for a long amount of time so they find it easier to calculate everything in kilowatts hours instead of joules and they will charge a certain amount per kilowatt hour. So where possible what you want to do is to save energy and to do that you would choose appliances that have the same performance but a lower power rating. Let's take these two light bulbs for example. They will both give you the same performance in terms of lighting up your room. However, the, this one here is an energy saving light bulb because it runs at a much lower power than a standard light bulb. And if you remember, power equals energy transferred over time. So a lower power means less energy being used over time. You could also Use your appliances for a shorter amount of time to make sure you're saving energy and reducing costs. And another important thing to save energy is that you insulate your house. And you'll see lots of examples of this in terms of cavity wall insulation, loft insulation, draft excluders, double glazing and things like this. So all of these things to reduce the heat that is lost from your house and therefore will save you money and energy in terms of heating your house. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.